Teaching Young Children Butterfly Stage 1 Section 1 Introduction We all know that young children love challenges. Normally in Australia, once basic life-saving water safety skills have been achieved, we tend to teach the freestyle first. I'm a great believer in progressive teaching. Build the stroke. In building the stroke, make sure the student masters each individual progressive teaching skill before progressing to the next skill level. Teach slowly and correctly, making sure that the child masters each separate skill before progressing. When freestyle has been mastered to your satisfaction, Backstroke is the next stroke to be taught. Backstroke is perhaps the easiest to teach since the face is permanently out of the water and doesn't require the intricacies of learning to time the breathing and arms with the face submerging. Many backstroke kicking drills can be practiced while learning competitive freestyle. These kicking drills and skills help teach the six-speed kick freestyle so effective in modern swimming. Some swimming schools teach both freestyle and backstroke side by side, with most children capable of swimming 50 metres backstroke long before they have mastered the freestyle. Learning breaststroke revolves around mastering the kick first, with pressure being applied to the soles of the feet. Feeling water pressure on the soles of the feet very often is hard for young children to grasp, as in learning freestyle and backstroke, they have become accustomed to applying power to the top of the foot, the instep, not the sole or bottom of the foot. Once the child has mastered freestyle, backstroke and breaststroke to your satisfaction, it's time to offer them a new challenge, learning butterfly. Here, Ten-year-old Georgia breathes every stroke and shows she is well on the way to mastering that most difficult technique, the butterfly. 